good morning. I uh, just wanted to jump on here because I didn't finish this yesterday and show you the results of yesterday's henna. Now, as you can see up around the roots, it's quite a bit red, um, almost an orangish red. It will oxidize and get a little darker. Um, I did not do my normal routine where I used it the indigo on my hair this time. Um, I noticed that some of the coverage was kind of lacking, so I just did henna. Um, we'll see what happens in a couple of days. I may have to go back in and do something will look right today. Um, may have to go in and do the regular treatment that I normally do. But as you can see, my hair is not dry. It's very well conditioned. Um, you see the henna pulls. And I've heard people talk, mostly um, women of color talk about that it sometimes relaxes their curls a little bit more. It pulls mine up. It makes mine more defined. And I've not even brushed my hair this morning. Um, this is, I just love it. Um, I've been using henna for over a year. Um, I want to say two years, but I really can't remember exactly when I first started back using it. Um, I order it in bulk. Um, I will never, ever, ever put a chemical treatment back on my hair. And, you know, yesterday, um, I put it on in the morning and I took a shower, washed it off probably between seven and eight last night. If I'd have done that with hair dye, I'd have probably woken up with my hair on. I would have probably woke up this morning to find all of my hair on my pillow. Um, I do still shed some. Uh, not as bad. Um, it has really, really reduced the amount of hair fall that I have. Um, using the treatments that I do. Let me see if I can get a little bit more. That's better. Um... I will most likely today or tomorrow um, do a deep conditioning treatment on it because I have not. And But as you can see, especially since I had the ends trimmed the other day, I mean, it's just, you know, I'm, this is finger curling. This is how I, this is not even a brush. Um, I did sleep in my bonnet, which is, you know, this is another reason why when you wake up in the morning and you have hair like mine and it's not matted and stuck together because it was still wet when I went to bed last night. Um, now, I'm not talking drippy, soggy wet. It had been towel dried. Um, about the only time that I use heat on my hair is whenever I roll it. Um, and that's only because, let's get real, I have a lot of hair. Um, it would never, ever, 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 ever dry on rollers if I did not do some type of heat with it, even overnight. Um, uh, we may check a weather report and we may set it tonight. Um, we've got some new products to try. Um, yeah, uh, I don't know. Um, sometimes I, I miss tanning so badly that I may just go back and do it medicine or whatever um, and I still keep saying or whatever and I know that it is damaging to my skin but it provides so much the heat just helps my body so much um, and that you know there maybe there's a happy medium maybe I don't have maybe I can just you know zap for less time and get the benefits of the heat on my back and my spine um, really looking at um, the injections uh, doing more you know I've got until the 22nd of December um, really just kind of going through a little bit of apprehension I didn't sleep well last night um, a little a little more ouchy this morning than I anticipated um, I didn't really do a whole lot yesterday, and that's probably why um, I, I didn't really stretch good. Um, 
I was not in excruciating, excruciating, I can't talk straight, pain yesterday, but, you know, I was sore from, I'm not used to lifting Ian, I'm not used to holding Ian, um, but I'm not going to stop. Um, if it put me in a wheelchair, I would still pick up Ian. Um, and some people might think, well, that's a dumb thing to say. No, I'm going to enjoy my life. That's just all there is to it. Um, I'm going to enjoy the blessings of this life. And one of the main blessings are my baby Ian. Um, and so um, we just keep going. We keep getting stronger. Um, I'm going to tag this for this morning. I may come back. Um, my battery is running low on this, so um, we may come back and do a little bit more. Uh, may do a little YouTube-free therapy today. Who knows? Um, like I said before, if you have constructive cr criticism or constructive ideas, great. If it's just going to be a bunch of negative, you don't like what I got to say, you don't like my hair, you don't like whatever, eh, I'm going to most likely delete, you know, and don't be ugly. There's no reason to be ugly to me. I'm not being ugly to you. Um, I know if you listen to my, or watched my video whenever I was having the anxiety attack when I was trying to get ready to go to the pain doctor, I was really... You know, I, I said some kind of ugly things, and not real ugly, but just kind of grumbly. Um, shouldn't have said them, maybe, possibly. I was crabby. I admitted to being crabby. Um, but, you know, there are some things that I see people do that just make no sense to me. And the things that I talked about make no sense to me. It's, you know, and I see a lot of people on here that call themselves beauty gurus that it just kind of seems to me like they make it harder on themselves and that's I mean that's my opinion if if you have a thousand brushes and you wait until you've used the 99th one to clean all of them instead of oh I've used this brush once or twice let me clean it real quick you've made it harder on yourself and I know this because I'm notorious for procrastinating things because mainly because of pain um, and then whenever I go to do it yes so you know, I'm trying to retrain my brain to just do it um, and we may do some worm bin videos I keep saying that but we may do them because I really have to pull some maintenance on the bins um, I just have to. They're they're just it just absolutely has to happen. So um, we'll probably do that today. Um, need to pull the blankets out of my car and get them washed and get them put in folded and put in bags. Um, need to get need to just get into purge mode because the end of the year is coming quickly um, and not that I'm not that worried about charitable things I'm just worried about I want to start the year off a little better than I did last year and owning a few less items um, especially things that I don't need and you know like I told you before I have a washer so you may not see me in a whole lot of different outfits you may see, you're going to see me in a lot of blue and a lot of items that I have are sentimental to me. Um, somebody gave, somebody that means something to me gave them to me. Um, and that's just the way that I roll, for lack of a better way of putting it. And we're rolling up on 10 minutes because I'm just long-winded, apparently. <laughs> Maybe I should have been a preacher. Um, who knows? Anyway... I'm out.